welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna look into andrew tate and megan now andrew tate's come out and said some quite spicy things about megan so i'm just gonna look in to see if there's going to be any response from the marco side um see if there's anything we can find out how she felt about this so yeah but before i begin we've got some new subscribers hello thank you very much for subscribing to everyone who's been for a while thank you very much for your support and to all of the emotional support cover members thank you very much for being here so let's get into it we are going to be looking andrew tate is a sagittarius and um megan is a leo so they're both fire <laughs> so let's have a look and see how these comments have gone down in Monicido. Monicido. now andrew tate is a american british guy he has an african-american father and a british white mother let's have a look and see what the cards have to say about how megan's taken this okay three of wands interesting so she's looking out and trying to work with somebody around this i don't know if she's going to try and rebuff this and we have the knight of wands there crossing her so we've got wands and wands so there is some fire there is some energy around this very point she may well be incorporating this into something that she's working on um, she may well use this as ammo for something else because what we have across in is the Knight of Wands. And so that's, she could see him as the Knight of Wands. He's fiery, he's a challenge, he's, he basically just destroyed her arguments. Um, but she she is looking at working with people around this subject so i wouldn't be surprised if we had a rebuff for from her yeah ace of wands straight away there there's a new project there's something she's going to do and she's going to use this andrew tate stuff as this kind of fuel about this misogyny it's um toxic masculinity so everything like jeremy clarkson and everything they've done she's going to like bring it in and use it in a new project setting the record straight again the three of pentacles underneath though suggests that not everyone's quite on board with what she's doing there is a lot of not working well with others allegedly for entertainment purposes only there is something underneath suggests that this project this ones that's coming in um she really feels like people are working against her and people are working she's finding it difficult working with others on this interesting that the ones comes up swords so what's leaving the situation you have got the nine of swords in reverse interestingly enough and then we've got the queen of swords coming up so the nine of swords in reverse it's gonna be this it should could could well be this whole thing like this weaponized kind of emotions i've had a tough time feel sorry for me i want to show you how difficult it is to be me um mental health she might she might have found some of this stressful but not massively stressful because it is in reverse um the ones underneath i would suggest that she is looking to do something and create something out of this situation she's going to try and make a, a teachable moment for some reason there's definitely a new project i think it's a creative project because it's wands coming up she's going to say it's toxic masculinity with wands it can literally mean you know a man's a, a wand so she could well say that this is like toxic toxic masculinity in your face this is stuff that media is going on about um the queen of swords there is very much 
coming in and cutting away and attacking um, quite coldly. I would say that this is something to do with somebody. This I don't necessarily think it might be legal, but there is a very kind of cutting rebuttal towards Andrew Tate's claims. Now, what we've got there is these Nine of Pentacles. What she wants to be seen as is this kind of affluent, generous, grounded lady that is rises above this kind of thing. But what's surrounding her is change, unwanted change, unwanted criticism, things being burned away. It's almost like everything around her is kind of eating itself it's this narrative that that she constant victim and is i am the affluent lady but it nothing balances out like that her idea the moon is there as well in reverse and we've got the seven of swords I think that this is going to come out quite soon. It, we have got death in reverse there. There is the burning of the bridges and she's kind of making a rod for her own back here. We have got the moon in reverse. So we are going to hear how this has wounded her. We are going to be seeing that there is more to this story going to come out she is going to link back to this for some reason i'd be interested because the queen of swords can literally mean somebody as you know these can be figures in the world that surround them now the queen of swords in megan's case would be oprah because look oprah's aquarius aquarius is air air is swords the moon in reverse here This is in a position of what she doesn't want. She doesn't want some secrets revealed. She doesn't want some things coming out about her. And this might be something that's known in show business. We have got the Five of Swords there. So it does look like there will be some movement and sleight of hand trickery. There may be some legal issues coming from this, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. I'd be interested if she does something with Oprah about this. Also, the moon in reverse. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they would, she created some kind of smoke screen around all of this. Like at the water was get murky around what happened at this time. Her relationship might have been going through some things and then... This guy came out and said that she was X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, I think she's kind of wanting to harness the energy and make something creative out of it. I do feel like things aren't working out for her creating a creative team wise. Um, even though she is trying to do something with it, I'd be interested in see if she mentions anything with Oprah. Hmm. Let's have a look and see how Harry feels about it. Two of Swords, they are considering, he will be considering something legal. He feels like his hand might be being forced. There's the Queen of Swords crossing them. So interesting. The star, a new way of doing things. 
energy it's not the energy you wanted though is it you've still got your name in the light you've still got your the attention but it's not the attention you ordered hmm. and what's underneath is the three of cups so there is a lot of kind of like gossipy energy going on we've got the with the way harry sees it and the three of pentacles of people not working around it's kind of like not everybody can get their stuff together ace of coins in reverse so that shows that there was a business deal or something going on that isn't gonna cut the mustard there we have the tower for harry we all know what's coming up for tower with harry six of cups is childhood and the devil control in reverse okay so harry is very much like i do feel like they're going to be leaning into oprah and trying to do something with oprah around this um, I feel like there's a lot of kind of gossip going on around them as well. But the two Queen of Swords crossing them, it is does look like this Queen of Swords energy is going to come out and do something. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Megan working with Oprah. Here we have, sorry about that, the cat's having a mad hover. The tower in reverse there. Again, this comes out a lot for Harry. Um, there is something where he feels that maybe he can't protect Megan from all of this and he doesn't understand why they're getting all this bad press and they'll be blaming everyone else. And here we have the Six of Cups, so it's going straight back to his childhood and surrounded by the devil in reverse. So there is co coerciveness and controlling and this is pressing all of his buttons. This really is pressing all of his buttons. I wouldn't be surprised if they lawyered up with he's definitely considering lawyering up. We have the six of coins with what he's worried about is he doesn't want to look ungenerous off at further attacks. He doesn't want to look like he's taken away from stuff. And the empress in reverse. With the moon in reverse as well. So they don't want something coming out. Um, I've the Empress in reverse. This is somebody who's very ungenerous, not very creative, they're not very motherly, they're very cold, they um they're quite cruel, they're not very loving, they're very gaslighty, very knock, you know? Um and we've got the seven of swords there. So I'm wondering if something is gonna get revealed about this whole situation i feel like if they're going to come out and attack andrew tate or say anything about andrew tate or the lawyers are going to come out that something's going to tip the balance in andrew tate's favor and come out in the news i guess allegedly for entertainment purposes only i mean harry is just completely gone according to the cards allegedly but very interesting let me know what you guys saw in the cards if there's anything that you would like to add anything you'd like to take away i'd say one interesting point is that andrew tate has not come up at all in this reading at all but we've had the queen of swords twice and uh yeah so i'd be very interested now the queen of swords just before i, I shoot off the queen of swords could well be a legal representative for the Sussexes. But it also could well be Oprah. So let me know what you think. Let me know any comments down below if you interpret the cards in a different way. Um, I always love to hear from you guys. If there's anything you'd like to add, anything at all, 
let me know and any readings you'd like to suggest thanks very much for being here and i'll see you guys in the next one bye everyone